the intensity of light or its brightness can be considered in a thought experiment, just like we did with matter. We said, if I take a chunk of carbon, solid matter, and I cut it in half, and then in half again, and again, and again, and continue cutting it in half till I get the tiniest piece of matter that still has the properties of carbon, that tiniest particle would be an atom. Can we do that with light intensity? Can we take a bright light and bring in filters that reduce the intensity by a factor of two, cut the light intensity in half, again and again and again and again and again? Well, of course we can do the experiment. What happens? Well, if you were watching this experiment, the light would get dimmer as each filter was added. And the light would eventually dim completely. But then something interesting would happen. You would see individual flashes of light. It turns out your eyes are accustomed to the smallest unit of light, individual pulses. These individual pulses like particles of light, just like chopping matter up until you get the smallest particle and atom, you can reduce light intensity till you get the smallest particle of light. Indeed, we call these particles of light, these tiny flashes, we call them photons. And these photons carry the smallest amount of energy of light. A photon is what we call it. And the energy of the photon is given by H Planck's constant times the frequency of the light. So the frequency of the light times Planck's constant gives you the energy of the photon, one of the most important equations in this class. In fact, if you take nothing else home from Chem 1, take home the fact that the energy of photons is given by Planck's constant times their frequency. Planck's constant, a very small number, 6.62 times 10 to the minus 34th joules seconds, that tells you this is an incredibly tiny amount of energy. But our eyes can detect it. That's the interesting thing. If you do this experiment in a dark room where your eyes are acclimated to the dark, your pupils wide open, you can actually reduce intensity till you see the individual flashes of photons. It's a fascinating experiment to do. Now, visual perception has been quantitated for a long time. We've said that the limits of human perception are a candle on a clear dark night at 30 miles away. That's when the intensity is at the level of individual photons hitting your eye. So light has a particle nature just like matter has a particle nature. Now, we can detect that particle nature of electromagnetic radiation of all forms. This we did a thought experiment on visible light. We can take gamma waves. Remember that high, high, high frequency, and now we know high energy light. Well, here's a radioactive source. This is radioactive cesium-137. It emits gamma waves when it decays. It's not particularly uh, dangerous to be around this kind of radiation. I'm going to turn on a detector for that radiation, something you've probably heard of, Geiger counters. You see these uh, all the time on the television when you're talking about radiation. If I turn this on, when it detects photons of gamma radiation, it'll bleep. And you can hear it bleeping right now. That the reason is there's cosmic radiation around us. Gamma waves are hitting us all the time. And the little packets are detectable by this device. Now, there's a lot of gamma waves. This is a bright gamma source. So this is intense radiation compared to the background radiation. And let's bring that in front of the detector. And now watch, I'm going to bring the source closer and closer and listen. You can see how bright this is. There, now, 10 or 15 photons every few seconds. And now we're going to get into almost continuous bombardment of photons. They're hitting so fast. Brighter and brighter, more intense, as you bring the source closer to the counter. Each one of those little blips, an individual photon, an individual particle, an individual packet, of light. 